Hello, my darlings. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am C and this is CJ DIY, where crafting and creating is my hobby and I do it with so much passion. And I have a lots of inspirations for your home decor and a lots of adventures. And today, another amazing adventure. We are creating coastal nautical DIYs. For DIY number one, I'm using these coasters from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna need 12 of them. So I'm just lining them up like that because we're gonna create a beautiful coastal tray. I'm using the ruler and now I can start with gluing them together one by one until the whole fully plate is all glued, just like so. To cover the lines between each coaster, I'm using a spackling, just a little bit. When all lines are covered, I'm gonna clean it up and we're moving into the next step. I'm using eight wooden dowels for frame for our tray. I'm measuring them and I'm cutting them on equal pieces to match my tray, just like so. So we're going to need two for each side, for the longer side and for the shorter side. We're also using a tumbling towers. Before we glue them on my tray, I'm going to paint them with a white Waverly chalk paint. While the wooden dowels and the tumbling tower blocks are getting dry, I'm adding wooden flags on the bottom of the tray for extra sturdiness. I'm adding five of them. I'm using a wood glue and a hot glue. Gorilla Glue. To make a frame for the tray, I'm adding these wooden dowels when they're all dry. I'm gluing them on the longer side first. When the frame is formed for the tray, I'm gluing the tumbling towers. I'm using a wood glue and a Gorilla Glue. And I am just gluing them on top of that wooden dowel that we already put it on. Next, on top of the tumbling towers, I'm adding a wood glue and a hot glue and we're going to add the second wooden dowel. And we're going to do the same thing on all four sides. Just adding the tumbling towers on the corners.
Now when my tray is ready, as a handles, I'm adding this rope that I got from Hobby Lobby on sale. It was uh, $3 and I'm just going to put it on the side. I wanted to tie it, but that rope is too hard so you cannot tie it. So I just glue it on top. Today I'm so excited that I'm a part of Room by Room, Life is Better on Water, hosted by my amazing, beautiful, darling friend Devin from Freckled Mom DIY and I am a co-host and we decided to create beautiful nautical team for our beautiful upcoming summer. Devin is hosting this beautiful open challenge every month and every month have a different team and a different co-host. If you haven't visited her channel, please do so. This lady can do anything. You gotta watch her channel if you haven't done by now, just to have so much inspirations she is all over the place creating beautiful home decor i just love her if you haven't visited her channel by now what are you waiting for on top we're gonna have amazing playlist with my amazing darling beautiful creator friends all links will be in my description box with that being said we are going into my diy number two I'm going to remake these old garden chairs that I have and we're going to make them in a beautiful coastal chairs. I'm just painting them with this beautiful nautical chalk paint from Waverly. And look at this beautiful transformation. And now I'm just adding these super cute cushions from Dollar Tree. Perfect as a pillow. And we are ready to go on vacation. What do you think? Look how cute that came. For DIY number three and four, I'm going to use this beautiful wooden anchor and a sheep wheel from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to paint them. The anchor will be painted white. White chalk paint. Simple as that, but super cute. I just love this theme so much today. I had so much fun creating all these beautiful DIYs today. And I already gifted to my daughter's friend. He was so happy. And I painted the wheel with a nautical. And I'm using these frames from Hobby Lobby. They were on sale for 50 cents. And I painted just to cover that print. And now I'm using this faux leather from Dollar Tree that they can be used for a Cricut and I just cut it off and I'm just gluing it and on top I'm adding the ship wheel and I added a bow and look how cute and high end it came when the anchor is dry I'm using this rope from Hobby Lobby that we use for the handles for my tray and I'm just rolling it around the anchor just like so and we're gonna use the same wooden sign from Hobby Lobby as well. This time we don't need to cover the sign because we're going to use a darker uh, faux leather from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just cutting it off and gluing it on the side of the frame. And I really love this navy faux leather. And on top of that, I'm gluing my anchor. I also add two tumbling towers just to get that 3D look on my sign. You gotta let me know what do you think. I really love how those sign came out. I also had that boat sign from Dollar Tree and I am really loving it. For the next DIY, we're gonna make a starfish wreath. I'm using this starfish wreath from Dollar Tree and I'm using this nautical jute twine rope from Dollar Tree and what I'm going to do is just a rolling this twine around the fish until it's all covered. Super simple and easy. I glue on top of the edges just to start the form until I roll the jute and just rolling all over until it's all fully covered. Super simple, super cheap but very high-end looking. When it's all fully covered, I'm adding this 
starfish wooden plaques seahorse some shells on top and that's it for this diy you gotta let me know what do you think and if i gave you some inspiration for you to make we're moving into diy number six i'm using these two glass round vases from dollar tree and i'm using this rope from dollar tree and i'm just rolling three lines on each of those vases just like that so we can make a beautiful coastal decorative stand piece for our summer decor now when the rope is glued on the bottom i'm gonna add a white scent on both of my vases equally i'm also adding a blue stones just to get that ocean vibe and adding these shelves adding a sand dollars also from dollar tree wooden stars wooden boats inside of it for more decorative details and on top i'm adding a rope as well and look how cute and high-end they came out for diy number seven i'm going to use this wooden plaque that i had in my stack i got it from home depot and i'm just going to stain it with a wax and a water first use a baby wipe to wipe it off and then when it's dry i'm using this stencil also from plaid and i'm a very proud plaid ambassador love to use their products and now i'm just using a white waverly chalk paint and we're gonna make a beautiful sign that it says seize the day for the words i'm using an article chalk paint and it's gonna look so beautiful look at it i am really loving the whole texture on the wood what a beautiful sign for diy number eight we're gonna make a simple garland for our tray i got a lot of those garlands from dollar tree all i did is i just removed the pink beads since the rest of them are blue they're gonna match perfectly for our decor and i'm painting them with a nautical paint I wanted to paint some of them with a white paint, but they didn't cover well. So I just decided to cover them all with a nautical chalk paint. And we're going to put them back together on our garland and it's going to look beautiful. I just dry them and I'm adding them back together to the garland. Three different shades of blue and a perfect coastal decor for our tray. For the edge of the garland, I'm using one of these sea turtles that I painted white. I made a hole, I tie it, and that's it for that DIY. For DIY number nine, we're making another beautiful sign using a smaller wooden piece painted white. And with a nautical paint, I'm using this seashell stencil. And look how cute it came out. And for my last DIY today, super simple. I got this block from Dollar Tree. I like what it says. And I'm just painting the top with a white paint on the sides. And on top of it, I'm going to add this beautiful anchor also from Dollar Tree. And look how cute. Wish upon a starfish. And here is the final reveal. I had so much fun creating all these beautiful, easy DIYs on a budget. I hope I gave you lots of inspirations for you to create for your home decor or to make some gifts and give them away. And before I let you go, don't forget to check out Devin's channel, Freckle Mom DIY and the playlist with all my amazing, beautiful, talented creator friends. And Devin, thank you so much for letting me be your co-host this month. I love you, my friend. And until next time, 
I'm sending you lots of love, lots of music, positive energy from me to you. Bye-bye!